Amanda and Josh Zorowski. of grueling fertility treatments in the spring of 2022, we were thrilled to find out that she was pregnant with our first baby, a girl. We were over the moon. My first trimester was smooth sailing, but suddenly at 18 weeks, I suffered complications. We were with 100% certainty going to lose our baby girl. We were devastated. What I needed at that point was an abortion, so that I could safely and with dignity deliver our daughter and begin the healing process. But this was close road, Texas. The near total abortion ban had gone into effect just two days after Amanda's water broke. Ending the pregnancy would have been a legal abortion under the Texas ban. Our doctor risked losing her license and even face jail time. So I was told to wait to seek care until I got so sick that my life was considered in danger. Only then would my case fall under one of the rare exceptions where a doctor can intervene in our state of Texas. For three long days, we begged for someone to help. But the help never came due to Texas's oppressive, inhumane abortion laws. Eventually, Amanda's temperature spiked she was shaking and disoriented. We rushed to the emergency room, and by this time, Amanda had de developed an infection which had become septic. I was finally close enough to death to deserve health care in Texas. After stabilizing my vitals enough to deliver our baby, Willow, I crashed again with another bout of sepsis, and I was transferred to the ICU. Our family flew in from across the country for fear that I wouldn't make it through the night. It was in that dark and lonely hospital room that I realized I was actually lucky. I lived. Others have not. It is unthinkable to me that anyone could cheer on the cruel abortion bans that nearly took Amanda's life. But that's exactly what Donald Trump and Ted Cruz have done. Cruelty, Trump has said that there should be some sort of punishment for women who have an abortion. Women just like Amanda. What's just as scary is that Donald Trump's allies have detailed plans on how Trump would ban abortion in all 50 states without the help of Congress. That means that what Josh and I went through could be the reality facing Americans and families in this country if he gets back into power. I want to tell every last voter, including each and every man out there, that this is our fight too. The decision of power, that's right, that's right, and the decision about if and when to start a family should be ours to make, not Donald Trump's, not Ted Cruz's. That's why we need to elect Vice President Harris Representative Colin Allred and Democrats up and down the ballot. 